When Tripp was a baby, he cried a lot. Um, I was always making excuses to my family and friends that he was either tired or he was cutting teeth or uh, he just didn't sleep good. But deep down, I knew that something wasn't right with him. Um, I was taking him to the kids' nursery at church, and about 10 minutes in, they would text me to come pick him up. So I would get him, and we would just go to the cry room, and I would watch service from there. Um, and then I just finally stopped taking him, and I was just going alone. Um, it was He was around three and he still wasn't speaking or he hadn't said mom yet. And it was soon after that that he was diagnosed with uh, ASD or autism spectrum disorder. So I guess it was around eight, uh, I started trying to take him back to church with me again. So we would go and I would explain to the volunteers that um, he was autistic, but I always felt anxious leaving him in there because I knew that the nursery wasn't set up and even the volunteers weren't really prepared or uh, to handle, you know, a special needs child. Um, so I think the last time that I took Trip to the classroom, when I went to pick him up, uh, the two ladies that were volunteers were at the door and I asked them, how did Trip do? And one of them said, he did good. And the other one looked at her and said, no, he didn't do good at all. So I said, I'm, I'm sorry. And I got Trip and we went to the car and I just sat in the parking lot and I cried. And I was like, God, I know that you want me, all of us, do you want all of us in church? Because your word says that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Not just me, but I know you want, want my kids there too. So you're going to have to help me find a church where we feel accepted and safe. And so that week I started looking online for a new church. And I think it was Wednesday. I was driving back from Midland from my aunt's and I passed by Mid Cities. And I had driven by there umpteen jillion times over the past 22 years. So that Sunday, Tripp and I went and we walked into City Central and I went up to the, the big kiosk in the middle and I can't remember who I talked to, but I told them a little bit about my story and about Tripp and that we were looking for a new, new church that could accommodate him as well. And he said, you're in the right place because last Sunday at service they announced that they were gonna make a new special needs ministry. Of course they did. Of course they did. I mean, to have a special needs ministry in this area would be so big for so many families that normally couldn't come. And we tend to isolate because it's hard to go places. And to have specific classrooms set up to accommodate the kids and volunteers there to love on them, that is, that's so big. It's gonna reach so many families like mine.